Morning folks. Uh, Hake Cotsum of Watercolours, Camion Yellow, Raw Sienna, Lizard and Crimson, Light Red, Ultramarine, Burnt Amber, Paints Grey and Burnt Sienna. This is Fabriano £130 paper, studio paper. I was looking at uh, a comment on various papers, was Canson, XL, uh, Arches, I uh, can't remember the other one. Uh, uh, the, the, the Fabriano 140 pounds, this is an American commentary, quite a fair test on the three, three papers, but studio paper can't perform anywhere near as well as the uh, the quality 100% cost in them. Well, I'll agree with that. But it doesn't mean to say these cheaper papers, these practice papers, don't perform well. They take some getting used to, like the large Ron Lanson Hake. But eventually you can paint quite nicely. You, you'll know how far you can go with it. But the one th good thing about this paper is that it lifts out very easily. Mainly <coughs> because it's not as porous as the, as the proper handmade or machine-made quality arches, saunders, etc. So that's all I really want to say. I, either way, whatever paper I use, I wet it. Sometimes if I'm doing a, a demonstration outside, and I've got one to do on Thursday, <coughs> I might wet the paper both sides and it's about half an hour before I paint. Right. Well, if you're a beginner and you're struggling with watercolours, don't give up. It takes time to learn to do anything and painting there's no exception to that. Um, but what I would recommend that you take a, a photographic record of everything you do, and certainly everything you sell. I put all mine on Facebook and then I've got a folder for them. Uh, so you'll find that after a while, after a long while, you will have got a library together of hundreds of, of, of your paintings and you can work from them. You need never be reliant on photographs again. You can improvise, and you can give it, give them, give the paintings titles. Uh, probably sometimes it's hard to uh, invent a title for a non-existent work than it is to work from a photograph of a photograph of a known place. Right. Okay. So, brilliant and Rossi, and I'm going to do some watery scenes. Roughly based on Seven Islands. Seven Islands is a, a large pond or a very small lake on a local common. Their commons are very historical places where one could graze one's cattle by right. But they're, they're now just open areas that are parklands for leisure and wildlife. And I'm surrounded by them, I'm very lucky to say. And um, Seven Islands is on Mitcham Common, and I abstract it all the time. Uh, I put a bit of blue in. Right, oh, that's some shadow, or some clouds. Light red. Ultramarine. Pull the loose hairs out of the hake. And make sure it's nicely mixed, otherwise it'll be just a little bit streaky. No, just a little bit of dark over the top. This will all dry lighter, so you can you can overdo it to a certain extent. But once the paper starts to soak, or the water starts to soak in, leave it alone. Give it a, give it a dry with a hairdryer to fix it, which I'm going to do right now. I can extricate my my uh, wire from uh, the old laptop. OK, 
okay. <coughs> That's, uh, I'm sorry I didn't give you enough warning that I was going to do that, but uh, I can edit them, edit these uh, sounds out, but it takes time on Windows Movie Maker and I'm, I haven't got a professional setup, as you, most of you know. I've just made me a camcorder and a memory card. Right, autumn is, is probably the loveliest time to uh, paint in winter. So we'll uh, put in a bit of bit of nice background, a bit of blue for some distant trees. Now try to make sure your horizon is horizontal. You can measure it off and put a light pencil line on it if you wish, if you're not confident. I'm going to put a bit of, bit of dark and blue, blue and paint grey is a, is a good mix for a cool Cool grey colour, blue grey. So these are the trees behind the trees. Right now, I'm going to let that dry for a bit. I'm, I want to try and get a bit of a, a sweep, a dry brush piece. So a bit of burnt umber. The thing with the hake is you've got to uh, get used to what it does and what it doesn't do. It's all about control of the water. Oh, I'll put a bit of Payne's grey in there. Strengthen up some of that when it dries off. I'll give that up a whole lot of dry, so take your headphones off or we'll mute your sound. I'll put I'll put a bit of an island across there just to sort of show show it. dark in there. Then there aren't any rocks on, on this pond, it's mostly gravel. Gravel and grass. I was putting a bit of good, good rich green. Look, that's that paint is uh, soft from where it's been kept moist. So you don't have to keep scrubbing it off your palette and wasting it. If you keep if you put in a slow wet palette or a Ziploc bag or something, you can use it ad infinitum, but be so soft. And if it doesn't, just give it a spray of water. All right, I just want to imitate the, uh, however you want to do this, just want to just get some warm pebbly stuff, just touching the paper.
bit of shadow in there because I'm going to put a bit of a So you've got these islands, seven small tiny islands um, in this lovely pond. It's really, really lovely. And it's surrounded by suburbia. Okay, now we're going to put in some autumn trees in the background. So a nice burst here, such a red. Bit of burnt umber. I'll have to dub out some paint for Thursday so that I remember I did a demonstration about three weeks ago and I had my stay wet palette vertical in a bag, in a big bag, and all the burnt, the raw sienna slipped down. Oh, with a bit of shadow in there. Oh, a little bit of green. Why not? Well, so when I finish painting, I've done this one, this is all I'm going to do today. I go to Mission Common not often, it's only about three miles from here. I go by bike. Good exercise being on a bike. And you see things, because you're at a slower pace, you see things that other people don't see, especially landscapes. You think, oh, I'd like to paint that, and you stop your bike, get off, take a photograph. I'm not going to do too much behind there. All right, let's generally bring a sort of a Just putting in this, the, the reflections, approximately. Uh, now, use a car just to lift out some. Now we'll do, we'll put in some, uh, some trees coming up here now. I'll use a dark green, I think, for I want a sort of a, a warm tree color.
Right, now we'll get some, some uh, warm shadow underneath that. Oops. I'll put some on the other side, uh, so a bit larger. Put a bit of shadow in there. <coughs> no, I want a bit of red. Did anybody see the uh, antique road show yesterday? You would have. The uh, roadshow was in Salford in Manchester, but yesterday it was being filmed for future in Morden Hall Park. As you know, I painted many, many Wandle River Wandle. This is all part of the Wandle Valley. Um, and they, I, I was asked by Brian Nett, subscriber on YouTube, if I was going. The queues to get in Morden Hall Park were f f lasted for four hours yesterday, so no, I didn't go. I, watch, I look forward to seeing it. It's on the, the white, there's a big white manor house there, not, not a, a mansion or anything, it's just a large, very large house. The owner had snuff mills on the on the Wandle in the 19th century, I believe. Can't remember the, the name, but it's a lovely area, all administered by the National Trust on behalf of all of us. Uh, we ride our bikes through it at least, at least once a week. Right, uh, now I'm, I'm going to break up the brush and do some leaves. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. I shall be on the bike ride along the Wanderer tomorrow. Shut up, phone. Right. Put a little bit of shadow under the, these leaves. Right, Let's see how that turns out. I want a bit of raw sienna in this this bit here, catching the light. I'll do a bit of rigor work at the end. Shadow, shadow. Okay, I'll give that a dry and I'll do a bit of rigor work on it. So take your headphones off, fast forward.
in my next demonstrations are going to be uh, when I find my clay rigger. Oh dear, where's that gone? Oh well, I'll have to use the. Uh, oh no, but I want to do some oil sketching. Sketches. When I say sketches, I don't mean outside sketches. I mean sitting in my studio in the comfort with a cup of tea or something, um, and paint some some impressionist landscapes or acrylic. I, I I'm not sure which. Now with the summer, the summer's finally arrived. <coughs> For several weeks, I, I've been using my gift of a of a gas barbecue. I, because of my chest these days, I, I loathe to use my charcoal, and I prefer charcoal. But somebody gave me a, a, a fairly comprehensive gas barbecue that they don't use. So I'm using that now, and I do all, I'm doing all the cooking outside. My wife's a great cook, I'm not, not, but I just love being outside in the, in the garden. Just sitting in the evening sun, glass of homemade beer, drop of a little was cheap plonk. Quality of life that isn't it, it's profound simplicity. Don't overdo this, just just some b b birded. So there's a blob there, so we'll uh, add one there. There we go, I'll sign it. I quite like this one, it's, it's quite simple. Right, I'll put that in a mount. And we'll have a look to see what it's like. <clears throat> I think painting lends itself, of course, to Impressionism. Impressionism can be used as an excuse for not being able to do detail. Um, and that includes me. Well, I can do detail, I've done detail, but it's not, it's not what I like doing. I like to do a painting, get it out of my system and, and get on with the next one. I don't, I don't like to spend too long on the paintings. I've, I must got to cut some some more mounts. I've got I've got the the board ready to go. Whatever, well, I quite like that. That's a nice simple. I uh, will we'll need to fill in a little bit there. Right. Okay, America, we've, your pre president's just landed in, in Stansted. Uh, as you know, he's quite a controversial figure. Personally, I quite like him. <laughs> uh, now don't unsubscribe because I said that. Uh, should really put a little bit. Behind there, a bit of that. I'll put a bit of light blue behind, behind there, because it looks as if I've just sort of fitted it in, doesn't it? So, just a bit of light, light blue grey. That's better. It looks like I've, I've actually completed something there. I hope you had a nice weekend. It's been about 25, 26 since London over the weekend. Cooled off a bit now. I'll be off on my bike in a minute.
Oh, let's put the uh, pull that back. Well, there we are. Seven Islands, Mitcham Common, on a Monday morning. Hope you enjoy that. Thanks for looking in. Don't forget to to have a look at my Etsy channel or page. Absolutely no no obligation. It's just so that you can have a look at it. I've got over 50 paintings on there. I got to a cracking start about three months ago when I started, but it slowed down a bit. Sold some offline though. Uh, right, okay. Uh, have, a, have a go at these things. Don't, don't make it too complicated. Just do simple things and try to do simple things well. Less is more. That's what I say. And I wouldn't be alone. So let's just lift a little bit of that out. That's it. Right. See you soon. Bye bye.